Hey there, welcome to the part 2 of this mini series. So in this video, I will talk about the lower part of the dress. Before even starting the main thing, I want to talk about something. So as you can see here, the bottom of this dress is widely flat out. So if this dress is made in real life, there should be a cage underneath to hold the structure. And I'm going to do something like this. Okay, so as you can see, I made a basic dome shape from a sphere to mimic the structure. And please be aware of the silhouette because this is so important. If the shape is not good, the entire dress will not look good. And no one like bad thing, right? Anyway, when you have a basic structure underneath, now you can follow the next step. Alright. I start with a circle pattern and this is the underneath fabric then offset as internal line and delete the middle and sew them with a band which I created in the previous video. Now you can see I just merged the dress into one piece which is not possible the dress like this in real life but in digital everything is possible. So now simulate and pause and then increase the length of the pattern and then simulate again and continue this process it's less frustrating believe me so this is the basic structure of the dress and make sure overall structure is nice otherwise no matter how much detail you put it will look bad to get this part i add another circle and make this way lengthier to get amazing ruffle and you guys do know how much i love ruffles right anyway to get this detail, I add some internal lines on the circle and then layer clone over. And that's how you can get the copied version exactly on top of it. Then I cut and delete some parts from the copied pattern and then I saw them. And don't forget to make this pattern bigger and simulate and you get the amazing ruffles. For some of you, this part may be a little bit difficult but honestly, it's just a matter of practice. This option is really easy. so. This is the motivation. Just do practice and you'll you'll be amazing. All right. Now this part is a little bit tricky. So the main thing is you have to make the exact same shape with internal lines where you sew the ruffle. This is a lot like back and forth. Just try and eventually get the shape. If you're really following this, you can copy the pattern from here. And one more tip: always keep an eye on 3D window. It really doesn't matter how bad the patterns look in 2D window. If the dress is good on the avatar, you're on the right track. Believe me. Alright, so when I get the satisfied shape, I just hit layer clone over and delete unnecessary part. And of course, sew them together and simulate. Boom. Okay, and to get those ruffles, I add a rectangular pattern and then sew them with the edge. And it really looks good. Alright, that's basically the process of the lower part. I hope you get how I approach to make a certain dress. So this is basically done, like 80%. In the next part, I will show you how I add extra detail to make this dress more appealing. So that's it. That's it guys. That's the part 2. If you get something from it, do like, comment, do anything or nothing. And I will see you in the final part. Bye.